sadly, we are used to seeing bombed out ruins in Syria on the news. But one destroyed town south of Damascus has come back to life as the location for a new Jackie Chan film. It's called Home Operation and it's about the evacuation of Chinese citizens from another war, the war in Yemen. We're here to tell us about that, our Middle East correspondent Ariel Osaran. Uh, hi there, Ariel. So um, tell us about this film and why is it being filmed close to Damascus? Right, Laura, this is one of your more unusual stories. Home Operation tells the story, as you described it, of uh, this naval uh, evacuation of roughly 800 Chinese and other foreign diplomats from Yemen in 2015 as the civil war there broke out. Now, the movie takes the perspective of the diplomats from the Communist Party, and in the, in the description of the movie, it said that they braved a hail of bullets in the war-torn country. So this is definitely trying to uh, embellish that, that story. Now, because why are they filming in Syria? Because Yemen is considered too dangerous to film at the moment, although there's a ceasefire there, but the situation there is too unstable, so they decided to uh, film at least parts of the film in uh, one of the southern neighborhoods of Damascus, Hajar el Aswad. Um, it's actually a former ISIS stronghold. It was uh, released, it was con conquered again by Assad forces in 2018. Since then, it's pretty much been a, a, a ghost town, you might say. Now, as for the co producer of this film, is Jackie Chan, no other than the famous uh, martial arts star. Now, while he's co producing it, he will not physically be in Syria during the filming of the movie. Okay, and, and some people say that there are some ethical issues here, aren't they? Uh, filming uh, uh, in Syria, a country which is still at war, and with profits presumably going straight into the pocket of Bashar al-Assad. Yeah, I mean, if we look at the positioning of Bashar al-Assad, he just the other week toured, did a victory lap in Aleppo, which was perhaps the hardest hit parts of Syria. Now, as to your question, I think we can uh, best let one of the crew members of the film describe it himself. Let's let's hear what Rawad Shaheen talked, uh, how he explains it. The war-ravaged areas in Syria have turned into a movie studio. These areas are slowly attracting film producers to shoot their films there. Building studios similar to these areas is very expensive. Here, the studio is already ready. So on the one hand, the low-cost studios are drawing in some film crews, and on the other hand, uh, President Assad is making a, a, a buck out of, out, of, out of this. Syria is open for business, seems to be the message. Has, has there been a lot of interest in this film? Well, it depends who you ask. The Chinese are presenting this as a blockbuster that will glorify the role of the Chinese diplomats. It's expected to come out to cinemas. Uh, towards the summer of, uh, of this year. Uh, now, that's an interesting question because uh, whether this will work, because this is actually the second film on this same topic. The Chinese made back in 2018 a similar film describing um, this same naval evacuation from Yemen. Back then it was filmed in Morocco. The movie was called Operation Red Sea. Same story more or less, so I guess they, they seem this story so big that it requires two uh, blockbuster movies as they describe it. It's a popular plot line, isn't it? Are we going to see more projects like this, do you think, in Syria? I think it depends on what kind of production companies we're talking about. It's hard for me to imagine Western production companies go looking for these this kind of low-cost production value. Um, but since uh, the, the, the Chinese are in it, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe we'll see other similar project like this, like these, down the line, which uh, is unfortunate to make money out of uh, human suffering and tragedy. Yeah, they've got the money and the Syrians uh, have got the derelict buildings.